Yo, yo, what's up, Eagle fans? It's your guy, Cool Eagle, here back with, uh, here with another video. Basically, going over my optimism going into this season, man. Like, obviously, as you can see, man, like, I'm having such a fun day, man. Hoping you guys are, too. Um, and it just adds on to my optimism of, of just going into this season. Um, man, and really just because we sold up, again, like, I'm pretty sure y'all, like, y'all have heard this numerous of times, man. We sold up key positions. Uh, like, you know, backup quarterback, you know, with Josh McCown, leading, you know, backing up Carson Wentz going into a playoff game where we lost our quarterback and we still had a chance to win the game, but our backup quarterback play just wasn't sufficient enough, even though it was very courageous of Josh McCown. Um, and then running backs, man, um, I don't know about y'all, man, but this Boston Sanders, Miles Sanders, com I'm sorry, like this Boston Scott, Miles Sanders combo kind of reminds me of back in the day when you had Deuce Staley and Brian Westbrook and uh, Correll Buckhalter, you know, coming out your backfield, man. And I just feel like the tandem of running backs that we have, if we end up adding whoever we have for that third spot, where we get Josh Adams off the practice squad, which I think is a good idea, or we just go on with uh, Adrian Killens or uh, Corey Clement. You know, um, I think the tandems of running backs that we have are, uh, are better than the running back tandems that we had in our championship and uh, playoff appearing years. Um, at least you can make that argument. Uh, and then at wide receivers, um, I know for a fact that, you know, like we're not going to be top five in league and drops like we have uh, last year, um, you know, with the Dallas Cowboys. I feel like with the wide receivers that we have with speed and good hands, um, I feel like um, uh, like we won't have as many of those drop problems that we had last year, even though drops really don't make a Super Bowl contending team because according to Pro Football Reference, and I didn't even know this until I looked at it, uh, the, Kansas, the Kansas City Chiefs were at top five in drops, um, but they ended up winning a Super Bowl and with the Super Bowl MVP at quarterback. So, you know, um, drops may be a big concern, but is it? And then uh, you go to, you know, defense uh, in the offensive line. And offensive line, I'm honestly not really concerned just because of like who we're going to uh, up against on our schedule, um, and you know, which is said to be the eighth easiest schedule, by the way. And you know, you know, like looking over our schedule, man, I don't see us going against some. You know, like the only top defensive lines I see us going up against are really, you know, Washington, uh, maybe Baltimore. Um, you know, and if y'all can name uh, any more, man, like please drop in the comments. Also, like and subscribe as well. Uh, but yeah, man, offensive line, I'm too much not concerned about, man. Like, I'm really happy with Andre Dillard at the left tackle position uh, just because he added that weight to his body like Carson Wentz has. And, uh, and it's being talked about uh, by Lane Johnson saying that uh, he looks better than he did last year. Uh, like, a lot stronger, faster. And now you see the waves are picking up here. They're probably the high tide right now. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, this is Lake Arlington, man. Like, not really the best lake, you know what I'm saying? But, like, he's trying to have a good time with the friends, you know, you know like, uh, throw around a frisbee, man, like, play some baseball, whatever you do in the lake. Man, you know, I'm saying, like, Lake Arlington is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, again, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but like, our secondary as well. Um, now, compared to last year, uh, we were going up against the likes of Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones Alliance, Julio, Calvin Ridley, Amari Cooper, and just to name a few names, man. Um, I feel like our secondary, with the depth and uh, depth, experience, and talent that we added, um, are well enough to uh, go against the talent that we're going against uh, the talent that we're going up against this year. Uh, just name a few names: uh, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, Mike Thomas, DK Metcalf, Kittle uh, from the 49ers. I think it's going to be pretty well, man. Like I think our secondary is more than up to the challenge uh, compared to last year. And then uh, the chemistry between our front seven, I think that'll be something to look at as well, just because you have an experienced D-line with a very young linebacking core, uh, with the exception of Nate Gary. Now, um, like, I think we should be good just because you have TJ Edward coming back as well, like someone who knows a Jim Schwartz's system. Um, and then Davion Taylor and Sean Bradley, like just coming in and added that young energy to our linebacking core. Nate Gary, I'm sure, is up for a, a good year as well. Um, I think he's in a contract year, I believe. Um, so, like, I think we're more of a challenge, like, challenge added depth with, like, Malik uh, Jackson, Fletcher Cox, like, Javon Hargrave. Man, just that rotation. I think that we'll have one of the best defensive line rotations in the NFL. Um, man, and I'm just confident, man. And then our quarterback, man, like, Man, Carson Wentz. It's the first time in, in a, you know, in his career, he's not rehabbing from an injury, 
significant injury compared to 17 and 18 where he was, you know, coming back from Achilles and then he had a nagging back injury. I don't think I have to worry about any of that, man. And as we know, like just some history, and history is known for repeating itself. Uh, anytime Carson Wentz is not having for an injury and he actually has to have a chance for a full offseason workout, it's, I think it's going to be MVP season, man. Like I see like 32 touchdowns and, you know, like six picks. Uh, you know, like at the leastest, you know, uh, but uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments, man. Like, what are your concerns and what are your optimisms, man? Like, uh, uh, let's talk football. Um, and I'll have another video coming out uh, talking about a presentation of these optimisms, just you know, breaking down detail by detail if you're interested. But anyway, let's talk football.